Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, right off the bat, do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. Specifically, follow me on Rumble if you can. So, at Third Railify on Rumble, on Twitter, and on YouTube, depending on wherever you're watching this. But Rumble is the is the key, is the future. Because I'm not long for this YouTube world because they don't like stories like this. They actually hate it. They deem it harmful content. And you're, you're obviously interested because you're here watching it. They don't want it. They want Mr. Beast, who may or may not diddle kids. But that's all besides the point. So the time has finally come. Adam Britton, the man who has done uh, unspeakable absolutely depraved things to animals but not just depraved things to animals the things he's done to people now he hasn't gone out and hurt people or anything like that but the the sob stories he would give oh my dog has died of cancer and i'm so lonely do you think i could have your dog it would make me feel so nice having a warm furry body I could hug and pet and, and, you know, all of that. And everyone's like, oh, my heart is broken for this old man. He's, uh, he's, um, he's basically like Steve Irwin. He's a, he's a crocodile fella. He knows David Attenborough. He's obviously, obviously going to treat my dog the, uh, it's so good. Here, have my beloved pet. Like, he's serious manipulation of people. Oh, we've been, We've been waiting for his sentencing for a long time now. If, if you don't know the, the story, in, in a nutshell, and I don't want to bury the lead here, so it'll be a small nutshell, is he, he raped and tortured and maimed and did extremely graphic extremely sexual things to, to animals, to dogs. He filmed it, put it online, taught other people how to do it, and was sort of a, almost a community leader in um, those kind of snuff films featuring animals, featuring dogs. And, I mean, he also had adult content featuring children, which is no surprise. And he was caught because some um, eagle-eyed internet sleuths watching his video, trying to find a clue, and God bless their heart, absolutely, God bless their heart, enduring, watching all of that in the hopes of finding a clue. Well, they found a clue. It was a bright orange collar or a, a, a leash that sort of pinpointed where in the world is Carmen San Diego, as it were, and uh, found it as Australia, pinpointed in Australia, and from there the the hunt was on. So here is the story. Let's now get to it. So again, because this is this is harmful content I'm making. Um, do f download the app, the Rumble app, and follow me there at Third Railify. Uh, you'll get all of my live streams, everything uncensored, <laughs> all of that stuff. It's a good time. I'm a good time. I'm a laugh a minute or something. I don't, I don't know. But the so former BBC zoologist Adam Britton, who filmed himself raping and torturing dogs, is condemned for inconceivable depravity by judge as he is jailed for 10 years. 10 years. I can't believe it. I'm actually shocked. I've done I've done 3 or 4 videos on this guy. I've I've covered I've covered his crimes, I've covered his life, I've covered um the investigation. I've 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 sort of covered all of this stuff and people were suggesting that he was going to get like 250 years is what I think he was facing. He was facing forever in jail. People were like, 250 years isn't enough. This guy needs the death penalty. 
He needs to be buried underneath the jail. He must never see the light of day again. I don't care if it's a mental illness. I don't care if he's sick. He is in actual danger. And um, I, I thought it would have been enough for for the judge to, to go, oh, yes, Adam Britton himself says it's something inside of him that can never be cured. He has to let it out because he enjoys it. That should be enough for forever in jail. And for some reason, it, it's just not, it seems. I am, I'm actually, I'm shocked and horrified by this. The crocodile expert and former BBC zoologist who filmed himself raping and torturing dogs has been jailed for more than 10 years. It's 10 years plus some change. In Australia, for what a judge condemned as inconceivable, inconceivable depravity. Now, this case was so bad that the judge cleared out the gallery, said everyone must leave while his charges are being read into court. So that they obviously have to be read into court so they can be public record and on blah, 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 all of that stuff, right? But the judge was like, the stuff that's about to be read is so messed up. I, wanna, I want you guys to be able to sleep tonight. If you hear what he did, you won't be able to sleep tonight or maybe ever again. So, for your own benefit, for your safety, I'm clearing the court, which apparently in this court had never been done before. So it's crazy that that happened, but then this guy gets almost no time. Almost no time for the wild crimes that he did. I'm, I'm, I'm bowled over. I'm staggered by, by how little time he was given. So Adam Robert Corden Britton was sentenced in Darwin Supreme Court on Thursday, having pleaded guilty to 56 offenses related to the torture and sexual exploitation of more than 42 dogs on his property. So I mean, if we just what is that? That's that's a few that's a few months in in jail per dog, I guess. The 53-year-old, who was born in West Yorkshire and earned a PhD in zoology from Bristol University before emigrating to Australia, was sentenced to 10 years and five months with a non-parole period of six years backdated to his April 2022 arrest. So, <laughs> he's already served two years. In... <laughs> He's already served two years, right? And it's entirely possible here in Canada and in many places, since Australia is a part of the Commonwealth, it very well may be the same, that in custody before sentencing, you get two for one or three for one credit because you're giving up your liberty technically speaking. And so you get credit for that. Um, this fella, even if no credit was given, has already served two years, is eligible for parole in four years. That's wild to me. If he did get credit, two for one, then he is eligible for parole in two years. This is clown world. This. I, I'm shocked. Actually shocked. We're reading this together for the first time. I'm shocked. Chief Justice Michael Grant also ordered that the once, respect, the once respected academic be banned from owning or having on his property mammal-type animals for the term of his natural life. So, he... He is not allowed to have mammals. Can't have cats, can't have dogs, can't have a bear. But if the crocodile fellow wants to have a crocodile or a snake, he could do that. He can't have a dolphin, but he could have, um, I don't know, an iguana. Before delivering the sentence, 
Justice Grant warned the public gallery that he would have to describe the details of Britain's offenses that included grotesque cruelty towards animals and told the British-born academic, your depravity falls outside any ordinary human conception. Are you, are you feeling it? Are you feeling that massive, I don't know, that disconnect? Your depravity falls outside any ordinary human conception. Give me your wrist so I can slap it. Man, like seriously, he's in, he's on parole in two and um and and four years. But if he got any any pre sentence credit, then he's out in two. That's wild to me. It's wild. Members of the public gallery sobbed and gasped as the details of Britain's extensive and violent offending um, resulting in the deaths of 39 dogs, including nine puppies, were read out. Again, only a few months a dog, it seems, he got. Britain stood in the dock wearing a black suit with gray shirt and did not visibly react to Justice Grant's sentencing remarks. Britain began offending in 2014, sexually abusing his own pet dogs, Swiss Shepherds, Ursa and Bolt. Lovely looking dogs, too. It's just, it's, the whole thing is just so tragic. In a secret torture room constructed on his rural property in McMinn's Lagoon near the city of Darwin, on his property, he had, uh, it, was a, it was a shipping container, basically. And inside it, it was like a desk, like a TV, some like cameras and like a like a like a broken bed. With, it was all stained and gross. And you can only imagine how many dogs blood was all over this mattress. It was like, oh, my God, it was it was the most disgusting, awful thing ever. A little bit of imagination. And you really found yourself horrified. He continued until his arrest in April 2022 after a video of his vile acts, which he had shared online, was provided to Australia's Northern Territory Animal Welfare Authorities. An anonymous interviews are noticed a female dog in one of his horrific videos was wearing an orange City of Darwin leash with the slogan, Great Pet Start With You. And it was that leash, bright orange, cut and the honed in on it. That tip-off enabled investigators to track down where the dog was adopted from and by whom. The agreed facts stated Britain extensively filmed his offending in his so-called torture room and shared videos online under pseudonyms while encouraging others to commit similar offenses and offering how-to advice. He was a community leader. With the... With the Many videos, a handful of videos I did of this Adam Britton fella, uh, there was actually video spin-off videos where people were charged and whatever, caught and sentenced and all that, who did the same sort of activities. But they, they took their guidance from this guy. It's, it's crazy. I, it's, it's so insane that, that people can even... Can, I don't know, derive pleasure from it. Oh, God, it, I, it's crazy. Your sheer and unalloyed pleasure is sickeningly evident from the recorded material, Justice Grant said, as well as torturing his dogs that he had raised, Britain bought, sought canines featured in Gumtree, Australia, free to good home adverts from unsuspecting owners in the Darwin region. Britain was also sentenced for possessing and transmitting the worst category of child sex abuse material. He should have got 10 years alone just for that. The British citizen was a prominent crocodile expert and a senior researcher at the Charles Darwin University a post which afforded him the opportunity to host the likes of world-famous broadcaster and biologist Sir David Attenborough while he filmed the BBC's Life in Cold Blood docuseries. 
none of his offending is alleged to have been against the reptiles. So he's not interested, as what the judge sort of alluded to. He's not interested in diddling crocodiles or diddling a fish or a snake or, I don't know, a bearded dragon or something. He's only interested in mammals, furry things. Oh, man. So the, the zoologist kept his twisted double life and depraved fantasies from his wife, Erin, for years. Yeah, his wife, Erin, who has fled, changed her name, completely abandoned her, her life, just up and just gone. Um, she had no idea. I bet she is beside herself mortified. During Britain's trial, prosecutors told the court that he maintained several accounts on Telegram messaging app, one which he used to engage with like-minded people, and another which was used to disseminate the images and recordings of the abuse. Using these applications, the offender discussed his kill count, which is so messed up. The prosecutor told the court he had 114 threads where he described how he acquired the pet and then how he abused them. The court learned how Burton once told a Telegram user of his violent compulsions. He sa- so Adam Britton, he says this. This is what he says. And the judge is like, oh, yeah, 10 years. That will be fine because we'll never have to worry about you doing this ever again. So Adam Britton says, I had repressed it. In the last few years, I let it out again. And now I can't stop. I don't want to. So why in the actual heck? Is he only getting 10 years? That would, that would be letting out, I don't know, some, some serial killer who was like, yeah, it was really great to kill. I just, I don't want to stop. And then being like, yeah, you know, 10 years, that'll do. Britain sourced other dogs from Gumtree, Australia, from unsuspecting owners in the Darwin region. The court previously heard that he built rapport with the owners and negotiated taking custody of their pets, many of whom he uh, reluctantly gave their pets away due to travel or work commitments. And the and he would do the, oh, oh, my dog is that a cancer and I'm so lonely, blah, 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 blah. That's, you know, what I mentioned to you a little earlier. He would spin the false narrative and say that they are healthy, and even send them old photos when, in reality, their pet was long since dead. But not just dead. Gruesomely raped and tortured and mutilated. And, like, it's, it's, it's so, it's so, like, messed up. It, it almost doesn't feel like a real story. In one scenario, Britain sent a message to the owners of a large brown dog named Wolf to reassure them that the animal was settling in well. The prosecutor told the court that the dog Wolf had already been expo- sexually exploited, tortured, and killed. There, there is well-researched links between violence towards animals and violence towards people. This man is a danger to other animals and the community. I am relieved to hear uh, his sentence includes time behind bars. That's where a man like this belongs, but it is not long enough. Those are the words from Emma Hurst, who is an MP of the Animal Justice Party in New South Wales. Uh, Britain's uh, lawyer, his barrister, uh, who, who asked not to be named because she has been subject to personal abuse and threats for representing him. When, and I, I want to point out, it's not cool. Every, everyone gets a lawyer, even if you're the worst person ever. I mean, if, if Hitler didn't successfully flee to Argentina and live a happy, good life, you know, in Baralache or whatever, he would have had, had a lawyer. Right? Everyone gets a lawyer. It's probably a really weird example. You're probably like, what's this guy on about? The point is, even the worst people get lawyers. And you should never go after a person's lawyer. They're just doing their job. That's ultimately the point that I'm making. So his lawyer had argued that a lifetime ban on all animal ownership was an extreme measure. I think that's going a little far considering what he does with animals. She argued Britain should be allowed to own or live with any creatures other than mammals. And the ban should not last a lifetime, 
because of the reasonable prospects of rehabilitation. The thing is, he says he doesn't want to stop. How are you going to rehabilitate somebody who does not want to stop? But she also read the court an apology that she claimed had been penned by her client. So Adam Britton says this. I take full responsibility for the demeaning crimes that I perpetrated on dogs. I deeply regret the pain and trauma that I caused to innocent animals and consequently to my family, friends, and members of the community that I affected. I let you all down and I'm truly sorry. I now acknowledge that I've been fighting a rare paraphilic disorder for much of my life and that shame and fear prevented me from seeking the proper help that I needed. Britton said, no amount of words can convey how sorry and ashamed I am, nor undo what I did, but he was determined to prove that I am better than this. I will seek long-term treatment and find a path towards redemption, his letter read. Please forgive, uh, please, oh, sorry, please give my family the space they deserve to heal. They were not aware or involved in any way. Now, it should be pointed out and I should have pointed out in the very beginning that he actually, he was diagnosed with something. I mean, aside from being just a sick bastard, he was actually diagnosed with the real thing, and it's called paraphilia, or paraphilia, which is defined, and I'm glad that they have it in this article, it is defined as having a persistent and recurrent sexual interest, urges, fantasies, or behaviors of marked intensity involving objects, activities, or even situations that are atypical in nature. And his involve, involved hurting animals. Anyways, um, 10 years. That is what this, uh, this monster, that's what he is. He's a monster, an absolute monster. Former BBC zoologist Adam Britton, who filmed himself raping and torturing dogs, is condemned for inconceivable, inconceivable depravity by judge as he is jailed for just 10 years. I bet his wrists aren't even that sore from the flapping that he got on them. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. De um, definitely subscribe to me on Rumble. Download the app if you haven't, or you just even just log in on the website at rumble.com. It's great. You'll love it. Anyways, catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>